What are your thoughts on birth control methods, particularly any possible long-term effects of hormonal types? If you had girls, how would you advise them on the matter? God, that's so many questions and there's, it's so good. And, um, you know, just to start with the final one first, you know, part of, part of why feminism, when it has made sense, has looked the way it has in the past and why modern feminism often doesn't look like it makes sense is actually based on the correct recognition, uh, that to be female and to be male is different. And uh, that effectively contraception, effective contraception with, you know, one large exception, um, you know, the condom basically falls, falls to women. And that this is, you know, is it fair? No. Is it true? Yes. And is there any way around it? It doesn't seem to be not yet. You know, it would, it would be great if there was work on um, possible modes of contraception for men uh, that didn't involve condoms. And I'm sure there's some, but there's not nearly as much. Um, but that's well, it's a, also physiologically harder to get it to work, which may be why there is not as much. I, th I, I believe that that is true. Yes. Um, for reasons that are interesting, which maybe we'll come back to in a second. Yeah, here. yeah, maybe we will. Um, so, yeah, hormonal birth control is... Um, is not perfect. You know, when, when the pill was first introduced, it was at much higher doses than it has been for a long time. Um, I was certainly on, you know, very, very low dose, uh, pill for many, 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 many years. And at some point decided that, uh, basically I hadn't been an adult without having exogenous hormones, um, that were working as contraception. And that didn't strike me as a particularly good idea. Much you know, it is, it is certainly less worrisome to me than allowing children and, um, and teenagers to take cross sex hormones, uh, which is, um, currently all the rage among some, uh, medical professionals. Uh, but it is also, there is no reason to think that it is totally harmless, even at very low doses. That said, um, there is a way to mitigate the harm, the potential harm of hormonal birth control for women that is mostly not done, but could basically um, not necessarily mitigate the harm, but provide a adaptive advantage that was never imagined when um, the pill was first um, on the market um, that could actually help, which is to say that in among hunter-gatherers, uh, most females, girls and women, experience something less, and I'm I'm making up a number here and it's going to vary across hunter-gatherer societies, but something less than 15 menses, like, you know, bleeding events, menstrual cycles, um, in their entire lifetime, in their entire lifetime. And this is because, um, it's not that they are pregnant their entire lives, um, but that the combination of being pregnant during which you have, uh, amenorrhea, you're not, you're not menstruating. And then when you are breastfeeding, at least on demand and more and with greater than a frequency of, I don't remember what it is, every six or eight hours or something, you have what's called lactation elementaria. You don't, um, you don't menstruate um, due to the, effectively the competing hormones of producing milk um, in which, you know, the adaptive reason being if your body is producing milk for an extant baby or toddler, uh, then it is not yet the time to get pregnant again because you are still working to, to feed a child. Um, and the combination wait, of... Wait. you missed one. Yep. Um, so there's um, oh. lactational amenorrhea, mm -hmm. there is gestational. Uh, gestational, and there is starvational, although yeah. I don't know if that's what... <laughs> yeah. But, you know, if you... Uh, female marathon runners, for example, are often so lean that they don't mm -hmm. menstruate. So basically the body has all of these protections against getting pregnant when uh, having the resources to raise a child uh, is not evident. Yep. Um, and so anyway, those you're saying in principle could be uh, borrowed as a... Well, specifically, it seems that so rarely in human history until post-industrial revolution have women had so many periods uh, that uh, there is decent reason to think and not enough research yet uh, that having so many periods actually can cause long-term health effects like for instance anemia that that much loss of blood over that you know that that reliably uh, can cause things like 
iron deficiency. Uh, and so, you know, why not, if you are taking a very low dose um, hormonal contraception, uh, take it not 21 out of 28 days, but um, 28 out of 28 days, and and don't maintain uh, the menstruation. So, you know, originally the, the dude who invented it imagined that menstruation was an absolutely necessary thing. Um, you know, and there were all sorts of you know weird ideas around cleanliness and dirtiness and 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 women's reproductive um, health not being um, something that uh, was being considered as carefully as it might have been, as it probably would be now. Um, but if you know if if the pill instead allowed for, say, you know one, menstrual cycle in a year, as opposed to 13 of them, uh, that would have only a slightly greater effect with regard to the exogenous hormones. Um, but it might actually have a, um, a positive effect in the other direction of not having uh, the women who are on them uh, have whatever negative health effects there are from having so many menses. And it would almost certainly preserve fertility uh, for longer. This is probably true. So anyway, we can yeah. argue about the various costs and benefits of that, but yeah. um, but anyway, that's probably probably the case. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, very very low level um, hormonal birth control is not perfect. There's nothing. There's nothing that is. Uh, oh no, lesbianism works like a charm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Just thought I'd mention it. It is very effective. Um, so I've heard. Yes. Yeah. Uh, there yeah. Um, I mean, there's. Yeah, you know, there's there's stuff that is um, that some people really don't uh, abide things like the copper IUD, which is apparently extremely painful for some people, and the hormonal IUD is not recommended if you are not um, past your desire to have any any more or any children. Um, diaphragms are messy but effective. I, it's it's, there's not a perfect solution, and the hormonal ones are um, by far the most set and forget and easiest, um, but there are potential long-term effects. Yep. All right, so just a word on why it is harder to generate male birth control. Yeah. Um, if you think about it, males, because they have two reproductive strategies, one of them does not involve investment, males <clears throat> are basically built... Uh, with a strong bias in favor of fertilizing females, irrespective of the wisdom of that. Um, because basically, if a man is not intending to stick around, then though the offspring he may produce is very costly, the cost doesn't fall to him, and therefore might as well, sort of like seeds falling from a tree might as well germinate, even if they land in bad soil, because the alternative is no no functional offspring. So mm -hmm. anyway, the idea is female bodies are much more reluctant to produce offspring because the cost is so damn high that they only want to produce offspring when conditions are hospitable. And therefore, it is easier to interrupt that system because that system is looking out for all sorts of conditions that say it's not a good time to reproduce. Yeah. So anyway, that bias is not inflicted by the patriarchy. <laughs> um, the patriarchy may find it convenient, but um, nonetheless, I mean that's that's actually the thing that a lot of a lot of what gets uh, put on the patriarchy's bill, the patriarchy may have been using opportunistically, but wasn't actually its invention. That's right. Mostly, we in the patriarchy were just very very lucky. We did not set this up. We would not have thought of it. We would not have had the dedication to make it work. We just lucked into it, and we're sorry. Are you though? Yeah. Sometimes. A little bit. Yeah. A little okay. bit.